we all have to work as a unit and our goal is to give as best quality and as best care as possible. I think it's also important to realize that you're working in a team and you're working with people with a lot of different personalities, a lot of different backgrounds. We complement each other, so there's constant communication and we know each other's goals, we know um, each other's schedules and, and plans for the residents, so uh, things are not forgotten. If there's a problem, we know that um, we, can, we can rely on the, on the next team. There's much more discussion, all geared towards the residents' um, best quality of life. We're focusing more toward the client now, and, and change, I think, um, more open to focusing on a, on a common objective, a goal, um, that may implement a few disciplines, but people are aware of, of the, the goal. Even if it's a small step, we can collectively see that we've actually made it there and then take another step into the future. So I think it gives us uh, something that we all work together on. Well, I uh, chose Maimonides because I heard a lot of nice things about it. And when the opening came to come here, I was delighted. It didn't take me a day or two, I was here. Jack uh, found me through several voices of the team. Um, he spoke to the social worker, I think he spoke to the head nurse, he spoke to the occupational therapist. So Jack was very persistent about meeting me. His work was he wanted to be an artist, and he wanted the tools, and he wanted the materials, and he wanted them right away. So I decided that my role with him would be as a supportive and constructive art critic and teacher. So we went to his room and I consulted with an occupational therapist to make sure that I could manipulate um, the furniture around and because he has Parkinson's, we wanted to make sure that everything was accessible. Um, and we created an art studio in his room. I learned something else from, from Sandra that there's a difference between an art teacher and an art therapist. And it's amazing that the, both the teacher and the therapist do, diff, do diff things differently. So I picked up from both of the, the, both the techniques, should I say, from both people, which I've appreciated. And Sandra's helped me tremendously. So it's really about having a whole team of people who all see a different perspective of that one person and that when we come together it's like um, the person is in the center and we each have a different way of seeing that person but when we come together we get more of a three-dimensional uh, perspective so yes I do believe that the interdisciplinary process is very important let me put it this way if you have to go to an institution for your care I would recommend this place and I think it's really a super place.